sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, name is Bruce, call sign G4ABX. This is an introduction to a project, a project that I've wanted to build for some time. And the project is a go box, <laughs> an amateur radio go box. Um, I've long believed that 95 to 98% of all failures in electronics are nothing to do with the electronics. They're due to what I'll call the electromechanical interface, the connections, the wires, the plugs, the sockets. And having started doing portable operation now, I, I, I know what I mean. Uh, the, the mess of wires that uh, usually goes towards creating a portable operation where you kind of pack up your gear, put it all in various bags, take it somewhere, take it out of the bag, set it up, etc, etc. So the idea of a go box is a thing that you can just pick up and go with. I'm fortunate in that uh, I have a, a wonderful Elecraft transceiver, the KX3, which as a portable rig is, is absolutely brilliant. At the downside of the Elecraft is that it's nowhere near weatherproof. Um, it's made of aluminium, it's got lots of holes in it, and on a couple of occasions I, I've had to kind of shoo the creepy crawlies out the back of it when I've got it back here again. So uh, putting that into a case, uh, a sealable, waterproof, <coughs> insect-proof case seemed to me to be quite a good idea. And trawling the internet for ideas as you do, um, I discovered a company in North America called Radio Set Go, who will take your rig, small rig, bigger rig, and stick it in a Pelican case of some sort, and they do some wonderful solutions. Their solution for the KX3, unfortunately for me, <laughs> was rather expensive. Uh, one of the big problems we have living in the UK, as I do, is that getting stuff from places across the world, strangely enough, other than from China, which seems very inexpensive, but from America, it, it's, it's just crazy. So I worked out that by the time I'd shipped my KX3 to Hans, who runs Radio Set Go, uh, he'd built it into the case and shipped it all back to me. It would actually have cost me more than the new KX3 would have cost. So I managed to persuade Hans to sell me the bits and pieces I needed to make my own case, my own go box, if you like. Um, I bought the Pelican case myself, although strangely enough imported that from America because it was £50 cheaper than buying it here in the UK, which is bizarre. Um, but I wanted from Hans the, the, the thin panel, the, um, the wonderfully uh, silkscreen panel that he produces for the KX3, um, and some of the discrete components on the face, and, and you'll see that as you look at the video that this supports. Now, the video is, is, in, is in three chunks. The, the chunk one is pretty much the finished go box for those of you that just want to see what the outcome was. Um, two and three videos are the, <laughs> the detail, shall we say, in real time pretty much of wiring up the internals of a go box. Um, now, it's, they're not difficult to do, but it takes time, you know, a couple of days of pretty constant um, concentration in order to get this thing wired up. Uh, my go box is a, is a little bit different in that um, I've also included a, a LiPo battery, so a lithium polymer battery, a courtesy of our radio control fraternity, because we don't have companies like BioNO here in the UK, we can't get their components. And if you want to buy a LiPo battery here in the UK, uh, for a small, I don't know, 2.3, 2.5 amp hour LiPo battery, you're going to pay more than 130, 140 pounds. So, you know, 170 type dollars. So it, it, it's just impractical, whereas I, I can buy a, a LiPo battery, 2.3 amper hours, 
for around 23 UK pounds. Um, so the big, the downside of the LiPo is that fully charged it's 14.8 volts. So that's far too much for something like a KX3. So part of my design incorporates a step down uh, device, um, an active step down device in order to give me the voltage that I need. Also included in the box is a MPPT solar charge controller. So I can plug uh, a solar array into the Go box to charge it. Uh, I can also plug an external battery in if I want. I've got a 10 ampere hour LifePo 4 battery that I built uh, last year that I can plug that into. And the final thing that my Go box has that um, Hans's general product doesn't is it contains a Raspberry Pi. So I can communicate with the rig uh, with an external tablet essentially. So this is the introduction to the sequence of three videos and the first one uh, will be coming up shortly. So thank you very much indeed for watching. If you like what you see, uh, please subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, if you feel like it, a thumbs up would also be good. Thank you very much indeed, and I hope you all have a, a really good day. 73s. Well, it's working. As you can see, hopefully you can see, um, CAGS 3 in there, antenna, 13 volts DC, batteries internally, just got the key connected at the moment, um, fans high and low, a bit noisy, I'll have to do something about that. There we go. Decoding. So, a success. Still got a bit of tidying up to do. Um, I've not mounted it to the case yet. Um, I've not mounted the case yet. Um, I've got a bit of uh, wire wrapping to do or tidying, tying up of cables inside. I've got a slight problem still in that the fans, these two fellows here, um, are still causing noise. Uh, but the more I look at it, the more I think it's conducted noise rather than radiated noise. Um, it's also controllable by the volume control, the audio volume control, on the KX3. So it's probably getting in on the supply lines. So I need to do perhaps a bit of decoupling. So I'm going to take a look at that. But uh, I'm going to give up now, <laughs> pack up, um, having spent most of the day getting to this stage. But uh, we are all functional. <coughs> Which is great. Microphone works, key works. Um, I'm going to try the pan adapter in a bit, but um, I'll bring you back when I do that. So for now, 73. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.